Hey guys, Fear Strike here, and I'm back. I'm back with another video. It's been quite a few months, actually since last October, I believe, that I made a video for you guys and did any sort of Warhammer related material or not Warhammer related material. I mean, Warhammer, I haven't done any Warhammer or painted or anything for the last while. And I said, since it's Dwarf Month, I thought, hmm, there's some cool Dwarf stuff coming out, so why not do something Dwarf-themed for the rest of February? And I picked up the older Gyrocopter, as you can see, and I picked up this Runesmith also, which isn't appearing on the website anymore, so I think since the new Gyrocopters, obviously Gyro Bombers slash Gyrocopters are out, that's why I picked this up because I'm uh, also a collector and um, this guy since uh, apparently yeah since the new runesmiths come out rune lords um, I think they took this off so the others could sell so anyways uh, I want to unpack these for you using my nails because I don't have a zacto knife so maybe I can show you some of the I've, I've been a my first army actually was the dwarves, and I collected a lot of dwarves, spent a lot of money on dwarves. And I kind of got sick of them because of the way they play. The movement 3 just killed me. Played a lot in 7th too, so guessing for cannons was really hard. And I haven't played them since 7th edition. And yeah, they just didn't work for me, so. Hopefully with the new book and all the new rules, you can, they'll be kind of better. So this is my mascot. It's an old school cockatrice. Uh, let's see if I can zoom in a bit. And these like the mascot, the blue roosters, I call these guys. Uh, in my dwarf army, that is. Uh, there you go. Look at that rooster with its weird wings. Yeah, so, and I don't know if you can see, but his eyes are purple and a bit of turquoise in there, because uh, cockatrices are supposed to turn their things into stone. This is a dwarf slayer that I painted, one of my favorite models. He looks just epic. Comes in the dwarf command kit. He's just badass. Also have a dragon slayer. I have some unique models in here from way back when this guy is from Wardheim a Wardheim Slayer and this guy's an older Slayer that doesn't come out yet and I have a bunch of other older Slayers that you've probably ever ever seen like these guys this guy you probably they change the sculpt for these guys uh, let's see if I can find a new one yeah they used to be just straight on and they change into this and also the command the command looks the same but they have different po postures like this this top part's different uh, what else can I show you this is an older older door slayer looking up at the giant this guy's another old dwarf guy dwarf slayer and I have a bunch more these are the newer ones this is one of the new ones and yeah, I was, um, yeah, I've, I'm happy with it. I have a lot of old school dwarf stuff. Um, maybe I could show you guys later. Or I have in my other videos, like the old Thorgrim and stuff, as opposed to new models. It's good to have a mix that I'm using. So let's open this gyrocopter straight up. Oh, sorry. So it comes with a, one of these guys, and some wings. And I think they got rid of the Skyrocopter because, um, well, they needed to add the new, new some the Gyro Bomber, of course, and have some new stuff. But this is uh, dwarves don't like really using wood, like they did in past editions. And this is like made out of wood partially. And uh, those are, and that's the kind of base. I always wanted one of these, but I just never got around to buying it. 
And I'm not a big fan, actually, I'm not a big fan of the steampunk kind of gyrocopters they have now. They're kind of, I don't know how to describe them. I just don't, personal, pre personal preference. Once I get one, I'd probably be like, oh, this is the greatest thing ever. But, yeah, just looking at first glance, I don't really like them. I don't really like the new Rune Lord either. That's why I bought the, bought the, this one right here. Which I don't have a knife to open up, but it's basically one piece. And I didn't really... Uh, stupid bass. A lot of bass. Yeah, I didn't really like this one at first, too, because of the the staff. But he has a weapon in his back, so... I didn't really understand what this was, but I guess it's the stamp to stamp the anvil or whatever, or the runes or something. Let me see again. Yeah, I guess it's just the stick, walking stick. Uh, anyways, yeah, so that's the gyrocopter. Um, my goal is to paint this sucker up before the end of the month. Monthish, both maybe, hopefully, if I can, I can paint both. Isn't such a big, big project. It should be manageable because I, I had other. What is it? Uh, had other kind of projects I kind of failed at doing or didn't really start on. I said I would start on, but I didn't really start on like the Ogre Project, the Wars of Chaos, my Lizard Men. And I also have a Tomb King's Army that I failed to start. I just don't know. It's just like grabbing a lot of. Let me just show you my other stuff. I have a flame cannon here. Uh, organ gun, you know what those are. Grudge thrower. And I have a cannon in there somewhere. But I want to show you my other part of my army. I also bought some more Warhammer ordered from the site. Like I ordered the dwarf book because I have a dwarf army, obviously. And uh, I have all the dwarf books actually which I can show you guys sometime this is the cores there's some old school hammers some old school models like this old standard bear I don't know if you can see that I think I showed you guys a lot of these models I have like tons of dwarf models old school really old school thunders which I think are very cool they have like Empire kind of clothing on them. Oh, I can zoom. I think that's the best I can do for those guys. Yeah, that's one of them. Move it back. Perfect. Yeah, now my camera's falling over. And uh, this is another old school guy. Before they change it all to plastic. And these are even, these are a bit newer. But. These are the metals. I don't know what edition these came out. And this is an older BSB. It came from a box that I bought. Yeah, tons of... Uh, I'm planning to put... I am planning to have like two sets of 10 thunders, 25 hammers, a uh, bunch of crossbowmen. It's like 16. I'm going to expand that to maybe 30 and then have a bunch of, of great weapon guys just regular kinds of men and a bunch of regular um, hand weapon shield clans men and I don't really care for the new hammers and stuff hammers, long beards are expensive too like 60 bucks for a box 60 bucks Canadian so yeah that's my plans for the rest of February and maybe into Mar uh, January, March <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't even do the dates right. <laughs> so yeah, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll try to update you a bit more and uh, see how it goes. Just like my other projects, maybe I'll just sit on the on the floor somewhere. But no, no, I have to get back into hobby because uh, Warhammer is what I, one of my most love hobbies, and. Uh, yeah, I gotta get back to do it. Anyways, peace, and I'll see you guys in